just a uh, you know another 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 opportunity to come out here today and get better. Uh, these guys continue to respond, um, absolutely locked in, ready to go. Got a great opportunity in front of us. There, there's no doubt about that. Uh, we embrace the opportunity and, and look forward to the challenge that we have ahead of us. What did Jeremy Madden have surgery on? His ankle. Is he? You said several weeks. Could he be back late in the season? You think? We anticipate. Yeah, we, we anticipate that he could be. You know, he only played two games in the fifth or two plays in the fifth game. Is, it, is there any possibility maybe getting a medical? You know, him that would be something that we would have to go in and look and see. And now with it, them changing the rule as they've changed it, there may be a, it may be just a, a mute point. I, I don't know. That'd be something we'd have to go back in and look at. So you're, you're, you're hoping to get him back? We are hoping to get him back. Coach Kevin Richardson, uh, just the process of getting him back and when he got that call right before fall camp and still playing the last couple of Yeah, you know, a, a leader, uh, a guy that's gone through so much in his career here and, and uh, very well liked. Um, part of our, our uh, you know, on, on our athletic committee of uh, student athletes and just a just a great example of, of what hard work's all about. And to be able to have him back out here and his energy level and his passion level for, for the Hogs and, and for this football program was, was great. And it was, as I shared with him, uh, I guess it was Saturday afternoon, I was just excited to see that, that uh, see him running around out there, that number 30 making a difference out on the field because I know it meant a lot to him too. That's what Danny Enos having familiarity with you. Well, I mean, how much we'll think about it. I mean, you know, it'll be like everybody else that uh, that's got familiarity with different programs. I mean, you'll go in, know the person, you know, your personnel, and uh, you know some of the things that, that probably that they have um, just relationships they built and things that some of the guys do well. And I'm sure that that those discussions will happen. You're playing your second really good third down defense in a row. What do you feel about your third down plan going into this one? Well, you know, I feel great about our third down plan going into every game. You know, it's just uh, the ability we got to go execute. That, that's the that's the thing, and we, we know we got another great opponent. Um, you know, I think they're they're giving up 20 by 21, 22 percent on third down, uh, which is which is you know really really good. So we got a lot of work to do, and and uh, the, the big thing is don't get in third down. That, that's our message. Just let's try not to get in third downs. We're about to see. Uh, Devil, I guess maybe how what is his status changed? Uh, has not um, day to day, and um, it's, it's, it's looking doubtful right now. CJ got to practice. Today. CJ is practicing today. I'm sorry. Follow Tom's question, no, but Malik Williams, a chance that you see him this weekend, or, or kind of where is Malik at? In the yeah, you, you you know he he'll be with us, and um, opportunity to, to to have him out there. I know he's going through practice, and um, you know there is a chance he'll he'll play. Kristen Gidry tweeted something about a minor setback. What's his situation right now? Yeah, well, he went in and just had um, had his knee cleaned up. He'll be back in a couple weeks. Chad, you know Nick Saban at all? You guys ever talked to meetings or something? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, uh, I know Coach. He's uh, he's recruited my school and uh, several times uh, when I was coaching high school ball and obviously, in, you know, being in college and, and have an opportunity to uh, interact with him. I, yeah, absolutely. Well, what was he like when you visited your high school? What was he like to deal with him that? No, just, just it's, it's what you see now. I mean, very intense and, and understands what he wants and great evaluator of talent and um, know, knows exactly what fits his, his style. Coach, new to the SEC, when you look at a guy like Nick Saban and everything he's able to do in Alabama, um, the example that he sets when he sets the bar in the SEC in college football as, as a new coach taking that in. Well, I think the the first thing when you look at obviously his success everywhere he's ever been, um, just a phenomenal um, football coach, evaluator of talent, how he does things, the program, his vision. Um, but the most impressive thing is just the, the ability to sustain the success that he's had, uh, considering all the different coaching changes that he's had to go through, and uh, it just says so much about his leadership style and what he wants and, and the vision he has for his program. We haven't seen Dylan Hayes for a while. What's the latest of him? He is, he is no, no longer, he'll be medical. Have you gotten the chance medical to talk to Chev in the last couple of days? Yes, medical hardship. Yes, I'm sorry? Have you gotten the chance to talk to Chev in the last couple of days? Uh, we talked to him uh, earlier in the week, and um, he is, like I said, he stepped back from, from the team. There's no, nothing new to report. Thanks, Coach. I'll, I'll think All I right. saw Noel Gatlin out there yesterday. What's, is he hurt? Or? Uh, he is, he has been, um, just kind of recovering from an ankle. All right, All right. thank you all. Thanks,